right? The biggest issue only working with low signing agents. All right, excellent. So now I know what the direction that y'all would like some of the answers. All right, so for those of you who are new, I'm gonna go over the five critical documents. Um, if you can give me a chance in the chat, please name some of the critical documents you think they were gonna go over. Um, do you think that, um, let's see, a power of attorney is a critical document? Do you think a AKA, a signature affidavit is a critical document? Do you think that a, a occupancy is a critical document? Put the critical documents in the chat right now for me to make sure that you understand where we're going. So I say all of that to say, um, typically when I call a borrower, I make sure I follow up with a text message. So I have a simple text verbiage that I have in my phone, just in case that they're not able to uh, answer my phone. And they usually appreciate that because nine times out of 10, they are literally, they are literally at work, right? Working professionals. So I'll follow up with a message saying, hi, my name is Renee and I am your loan signing agent. I am not a notary public and uh, I'm sorry, I am a loan signing agent and I am assigned to your case. And I just wanna let you know that um, we are scheduled to be there at 6.30 PM on April the 1st, 2022. Uh, I just wanna let you know that it may take about 45 minutes to an hour. So I would like for you know the area to be signed at a table if that's something that you have to accommodate. We will sign in whatever color ink that is a part. Usually blue is, I would say king. And if the confirmation says black, use otherwise. Certain states require a certain color, right? For the universal color, I would say blue. Just in Miss Renee opinion, uh, in my experience. And then lastly, I will make sure that I confirm the address. There has been a lot of times that I did not confirm the address. And I actually went to their office instead of their resident, or I went to their resident instead of their address, and there was some type of mix up. So one of the things is to make sure that you confirm the address before you get off that phone. Uh, lastly, I let them know that if they have any question or concern, feel free that I am reachable and I'm textable. They really tend to like that. I see the chat is actually blowing up. So that's great And when it comes to critical documents. So we just talked about the script of what to say. Make sure you have your address, make sure it's the correct address. And sometimes if you have the loan documents, I would actually go over what is the vesting amount, right? So I will go over the vesting amount when it comes to uh, them particular, because when it comes to the vesting, you don't wanna make sure that the signing is gonna be closed because of the fact that you forgot to go over the vesting, right? So I say all of that to say, it's very important for you to go over the vesting, okay? So let's make sure that we make sure that we go over the vesting if we have the documents in time, okay? Just in time. Some people may not actually have that. So I say all of that to say, this is some of the things that you wanna go over. So now that the chat is actually uh, set for us, let's see what you have. We have the note, ding, that is correct. The AKA, I see that some people like uh, put the AKA. The AKA is called the signature, Affidavit, that is not considered a critical document in the thing. The settlement statement, the alter statement is, I would not call the critical document. Over that, I would call the CD as a critical document, okay? Um, let's keep going. We're able to see that. I kind of showed you that on my Calendly um, opt-in form, but definitely it's not something that you need right now it's something that you may aspire to get eventually okay uh business cards and brochures i showed you how important it is for you to get business cards and brochures Okay, so with the uh, brochures, I recommend that you do the brochures more than the business cards because it stands out more, right? Um, okay, and we also went over payment gateways. You have to have some type of payment gateway set up. 
I have PayPal, I have Square, what would also be like Cash App, uh, because I have a lot of notaries that I can pay through Cash App. I don't have QuickBooks, but I know a lot of notaries that do use QuickBooks. Um, and then I have uh, Stripe as well. So here's a here's the cool thing about that. Sometimes, like, let's just say they try to book an appointment with your Calendly. Um, don't ever let that sale go. Be sure that you, you get that person back on the phone and if they tell you, hey, I'm having some problems uh, processing my order to book an appointment, you can say, you know what, no, no problem. I can take your order over the phone. Believe it or not, customers pay over the phone. I get a lot of customers that pay over the phone. Uh, just discard all of that valuable information that you have, like their credit card number, expiration date, security code. Make sure you discard all of that. It, it's not lying around for somebody prying eyes to see, right? So I do that once I get the information and then I'll put I'll input it myself through PayPal or you know whatever other payment gateway I have. So <clears throat> be sure to keep that in mind. Never let the sale go. It, you do have other options if for some reason there's a technical glitch somewhere take the credit card over the phone and then you can always and spell it right if they say you can't cross it out and spell it guess what a redraw is going to have to happen and now it's not guaranteed that you're going to get all the money that you was promised because you didn't conclude the signing so certain steps to make you a great notary the purpose is to make you a great notary so i'm coming on here with my coach to tell you some of the things that through my journey i wish somebody would have told me that was it all right so let's keep going all right now there's a little initial pay attention to that initial because baby let me tell you let me tell you these initials were a demon to me okay yeah i'm speaking spiritual but it was a demon to me because i sometimes overlooked it overlooked it and i had to go back and going back and not getting paid to go back is not good so i wish that you better than me okay and i'm coming up in here because i don't want you to miss some of the mistakes that i missed as a notary yeah i was able to scale my business very very fastly when i was a notary my first month i made 2.5 my next month i made six get thousand why because i actually saw a girl that looked like me on youtube and told me her first 30 days she made six thousand and i said wow she told me all the recipe and I just scale my business. And I'll share, I'll share that YouTube video with you guys. And if you know me, you already know I already shared it with you. So that was some of the secrets that she told me, just like the secrets that I'm telling you. And then my third month, I made 6,000. My fourth month, I made 7,000. My fifth month, I made 8,000, almost nine. And then I said, hmm, I need a coach. I said, there's too many orders out here too many orders out here and i'm not getting all of them so i scaled my business to a signing service and i got my coaching from mr toledo when i did that he was able to show me how to scale my business and still work in the company until i was actually ready to actually launch to the public right so i brought one person in and i would call it a little bitty signing service right at the time right I brought some people in that I coach to kind of take orders. 